I just feel um, speechless regarding their the outcome of and how fast it was closed. The Transportation Safety Board says there's no evidence a railway train sparked a fire that almost entirely destroyed the community of Lytton. And the findings are infuriating some evacuees who are learning the TSB investigation is over. No answers for families who ran from the flames after the June fire leveled homes and buildings in the Linton area. The TSB sharing photos of the last train that traveled through the village. Any sign of uh, like hot bearings where the roller bearings have been burnt, um, any signs of uh, like on the locomotives, if there have been any signs of, you know, like a paint burnt off or something like that where there's potentially signs of fire. Um, we did not find any. Joseph Justice lost his childhood home on IR-18. He and his wife, Katrina Sam, and their family are staying in two donated trailers. Every day we drive through Lytton mm -hmm. and we see this disaster and it brings tears to our eyes every time. It's devastating. Yeah. And mm -hmm. The cleanup is like they're sifting through the homes in Lytton right now. And hopefully once that's done, they can clean it all up and, you know, make it look a little better. A widely shared video led to speculation the fire was caused by a passing train. It was determined that the rail car itself and the, and the material on it were not on fire. Some of the outside packaging had been singed um, because it had gone through an area that was uh, area that was on fire. And this area was not lit. It was uh, further south. The TSB's final report says the fire was within five feet of a CP rail line. But lab tests showed no correlation between a substance on the ground and a material taken from a locomotive. The firm pursuing a class action lawsuit against CP and CN Rail says it's undeterred by the report. The statement says TSB pursued a low intensity class five investigation without no fire expertise on the investigative team that failed to interview eyewitnesses and was unable to draw inferences from the fact that the fire started within five feet of the center of the track. Former resident Jennifer Toss lost several properties in the fire. If they're not responsible, they're not responsible. Um, so I shouldn't say I'm disappointed. I, I, I just find it hard to believe. Justice, who is also undergoing chemotherapy for cancer, says he just wants to rebuild. To see it gone, all the pictures of my grandparents, my family, all unreplaceable, you know, and it's in my heart to bring back what was there before I'm gone. You know, I don't know how long I have. The RCMP and BC Wildfire Service investigations are both ongoing. Crystal Ladaris, City News.